Welcome everybody to COD Drama Alert. I hope you guys have been doing well. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we have arguably the spiciest, hottest stories going on within the Call of Duty community, man. And we'll be going over it all here in today's video. And of course, if you don't know me, my name is Ayo Limstar, and let's get right into the news. So for the first story of the day, we're starting off with arguably the hottest story, but not the craziest one, okay? So basically, it was Fully versus Ghost of A in a live stream debating about their views on Call of Duty, what they've said to each other, Call of Duty itself, YouTube, etc., etc. A whole bunch of things, okay? That a live debate. And the debate went from disagreeing and arguing about what was said and what was done to everyone kind of having their own crashing out moment and arguing, right? Then about YouTube advice and all that stuff. And then it carried over to blame truth and rage baiting, et cetera, et cetera, okay? But here are all the clips that I actually think you guys should be watching. I had this goal in mind before any of this shit ever happened. Like people already knew that I was waiting till a certain uh, a certain milestone before right. showing my face. Okay. Hey, another thing though, it don't uh, insult people's family members. That's a low blow if they're not even involved in YouTube. What do you got to say, King Steve-O? What's your problem, man? I just have a problem with you coming at Blame Truth, bro. Like, oh, Blame like, Truth oh, can Jesus. eat a dick. What are you saying? Hey, look, okay, we got a King Steve here, Blame Truth cocksucker. No, oh no, my no, God, no, bro. No. Listen, 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 can I talk, bro? Can I talk? Like you, you're coming at my boyfriend, Blame can Truth. Can I talk, so, bro? Are you mad at me because I can't? I'm going to answer you a question if you stop talking, man. Shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, we're getting emotional now, guys. No! <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to ask you one question. Do you have a dad, yes or no? I'm gonna slap the shit out you, bro. I just asked you, the question. We, we, we were just talking about disrespect and you bring up my father. We were just talking about family. See, this is why I called this. No, no, Blame Truth is being honest. He even gives y'all information behind the scenes from devs and you're hating on him. You're a hater. So shut the fuck up. Get off my dick. Make real content. Goofy. So I was right. You're mad at me for insulting someone else. You're defending your boyfriend. Blame Truth here. Ooh. Hey, we can just get out the chat because he's mentally challenged. I don't want to talk with this guy. The guy's a retard. That's, that's why you're the you first one dead, nigga. That's why you fucking fell off, nigga. Shut up. Hey, you Shut never even up. were on, nigga. You wish you were fucking fully. That's why you're mad. You wish you were fully. Shut the fuck up. All right. But overall, they did talk about other things as well. Other points, other views, other topics. But the one thing I really want to talk about is how crazy it was to see everyone's communities come together, argue, disagree, debate within the comment section, but also seeing fully and eight actually debate live on stream because let's be honest within any gaming community when you have two big creators in that community actually talking out like when does that actually happen it never happens man this was really crazy to see but for our next story of the day we have one of the craziest stories i've ever seen ever since i came back to the call of duty community a call of duty thumbnail artist and designer was exposed for being a doctor disrespect, okay? And all I have to say is, why is the Call of Duty community like this, bro? To give you guys some context, okay? Bob Network UK, a very popular and reliable Call of Duty leaker, ended up getting doxxed and I think blackmailed by his former friend named Legit. They both met IRL last year at World Series of Warzone, and Legit, somehow, some way, ended up getting information about Bob's personal life and what he was going through personally and ended up doxing and blackmailing Bob for like a disagreement that they had, I believe. And because of this all going down, Legit was actually exposed for being a female Dr. Disrespect and a female EDP 445 and was exposed for sending corn to minors. You heard that right. Sending corn to minors. I haven't seen the images because listen to this, guys. I'm sharing my screen right now. There's a legit document talking about everything that legit did and sent to minors sending photos of people i think deepfakes as well and some people in the replies they saw it and they've been shocked ever since and here are the responses okay so when it all actually started going down brian who's bomb network uk and he said f it and f you and it's a screenshot of legit saying, honestly, if Bob keeps enabling them, I don't know who she's talking about, I might do something drastic. And I'm assuming so. He actually screenshotted this. I don't know what the context is for this, but he says, don't, it's what they're looking for. Legit says, I'm not going to dox, but I'm sure his parents would love to hear how he isn't a Muslim. Bro, how much hate do you need to have 
for a person that you met IRL last year to do something like this, bro, when it's their own personal lives, man. This is crazy. And here's another tweet Varel actually tweeted out. I'd suggest you all block this EDP 445 defender because I'm actually pretty sure he's just engaging farming for Twitter blue money. Jake plays this is a bad look. Commissions will be closed for now. And the last response that I found that was funny is this primitive AK. He said gamer community challenged. Don't be a perverted EDP 445 creep for more than 10 minutes. Result impossible. And it's quoting a tweet from Varel once again, saying sneak peek with the screenshot saying, if you're not using it constantly, it will shrink a lot. But who doesn't like cute little girl cooks either? Bro, I don't know, like, how perverted, how weird do you have to be to even say that, to even type that out? bro. Why is the Call of Duty community like this at all? This is one of the craziest stories I've ever seen ever. And now for the next story of the day, we actually have another Call of Duty YouTuber by the name of Sergeant Gaz being exposed for two boxing when he tried to hide it so hard. And if you're wondering who exposed him, who is it other than the Rick? Basically, to give some context, Gaz talked about Rick on stream. Rick actually found full blown evidence of Gaz two boxing on stream with his own glasses, which I, I don't even know how that's possible, but let's watch the best parts. He's a horrible content creator. I mean, I'm not gonna call anybody a horrible content creator, but I, I, I mean, I, I can't really say anything because I don't watch his content. Mm. You sure about that? Just in general, I think. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Like, how do you not know what content he makes, but like you're talking about him, you know? You could already tell what kind of content a creator makes just by the thumbnail, the title, et cetera, et cetera. I think like if they make content about uh, others talking bad about people. So you do know. I just, I don't know, man. Like he just said that, oh, I don't know what kind of content he makes. And then now he's talking about the content Rick makes. Like, bro, what? And then after that, Rick exposes Gaz within the video, which is kind of funny as well. Mark over here, I think, said that. Jesus Christ. We all know what this guy's doing. But look at his glasses. Look at his glasses. Okay. show you what he's doing. Here we go. Watch so the shit. See how that be going? I like they shipment. Do you what see is it, Rick? What is it? Oh, what do I see? Do you see that? Let me back it up. Let me get a little more Wait, full screen here. Yeah, yeah. Hold up. Watch this shit, ladies and gentlemen. Going. I like they shipment. Watch this shit. Bam. Oh, Bam. I see. I see. That's I see it. I see it. That's the Call of Duty logo. I don't know how you get caught two boxing and cheating and lie manipulating your viewers from your own glasses that, are, that sponsored you, bro. That is insane work. And later on the video, Rick basically explains when you are joining anybody within Modern Warfare 3, even in Warzone, it shows the Call of Duty logo and he shows full proof of it in the video. I don't, know, Rick, I don't, I don't think I can trust you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just going to show you guys the proof. Maybe, maybe it was just a glitch of the system. I, I don't know, man. There it is. Oh, oh. I joined his lobby. It's as simple as that. I'm gonna find another guy just so you guys know. Oh no, I think I think that was just a glitch. That was a glitch. I think that's another just another guy. Let me see a guy that has a party that's open. Yeah. And uh, I'm uh, going to show you guys. It does it again. Right here. Call of Duty. Oh, Warfare. okay. Why? This is crazy. Imagine being exposed for two boxing and basically cheating and then lying and manipulating your viewers that you do it from your own glasses and the company that sponsored you. That, that's just insane work, bro. And the last clip that I actually thought was funny is the fact that Gaz actually rage quits in a two box bot lobby. I don't know how you rage quit and complain about the players within that lobby. Just simply get better, bro. Reverse boost lobby because he's getting fucking shit out. I mean, he has the nerve to his chat to say these guys are sweating. This guy is joining <laughs> an alt account with a zero KD. In every good game he had in this game, he either nuked it or he had like a 9 or 10 KD. But these maps he leaves, he claims these people are sweats. Watch this shit. Let me see. It's hilarious. Show us, Rick. Okay. The guy's just not moving that, move that much. Yeah, I'm not going to get anywhere with that. I can't even get to a five kill streak. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't play Call of Duty like that, man. I'm AO Limstar. I'm a news reporter for the COD Drama Alert channel. Okay, that's my job now. That's my full-time job. But listen, if I see somebody... Crouched up, crouched up, and not even moving or slide canceling, bro. You're playing against bots and you rage quit it after not getting a five kill streak. I think it's a skill issue. Can't lie. Can't lie. And while doing research, I decided to check the comment section under Rick's video and here are some of the funniest comments yet. Brady's Banana says he'll have contacts in for the next stream. <laughs> Meow said caught in 4K by glasses is diabolical. Cringe reverse boosters. Why can't players just play legit? That's the same question I'm asking as well, man. And then for the next story of the day, 
Listen, ladies and gentlemen, the Call of Duty community is battling against Dr. Disrespect, man. Let me give you guys some context, okay? So starting off, we have a clip of Dr. Disrespect saying, fun game, isn't it? And look at this clip right here. She's rushing in Warzone Urzikstan because they don't have resurgent solos. I don't think Doc would really like that. He's pushing. Gets a kill. Fun game, isn't it? Not a lot of movement. Proximite. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, bro. I don't care how old you are, bro. If you claim to have speed, violence, momentum. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. But someone from the Call of Duty community actually ended up quote retweeting that tweet and roasted the doc. So awesome Kazami fact said, this guy literally used to work for Call of Duty. Holy shit, he's ass. <laughs> I thought it was low-key funny, man. And here are some of the community responses, bro. This guy said, this is how I find out awesome COD zombie facts is black. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> then we have a Donald Trump parody accountant saying, make Dr. Disrespect good at COD again. <laughs> that is insane work, bro. And then we have Tej saying, your comment section needs investigation. I've never seen so many predators in one place. Yo. And I'm not going to lie, when I was doing research, for replies and all that stuff. I did not see anyone agreeing and or defending Dr. Disrespect, bro. I, I don't know what Teach is really saying, bro, but it's so funny still. And for the last story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we have something very interesting, okay? For the official Reddit page of MW3 2023 had a post talking about Mark of a Hero, okay? On the screen right now, you will see the original post. And this guy basically got into a lobby with Hero where he dropped 263 kills. And I'm assuming because the game never hit 250 and it's hard point, Hero knew. For some reason, after I actually saved the actual post, it was deleted a couple hours later after blowing up. As you can see right now, the original post has now been removed by the moderators of the Reddit page. But it's kind of interesting to see how the official Reddit page is already defending cheating and a doxer, bro. And here's some of the funniest responses that I found from this thread. WTF, how does he have over 200k subs? He is effing terrible at this game. Like his gameplay is straight garbage. I can see why he two boxes. Two boxing on its own is gross. You're beating up on people of lower skill for fun. Two boxing and then streaming for good content is gross and borderline fraudulent when you're blicking people for money. I don't know what blicking means, so sorry if it's a bad word, but that's facts. <laughs> Another response that I thought was funny is, Hero is a tool, reverse boosting to get into bot lobbies for content. Meanwhile, no one shoots back at him. He will get shit on in higher tier lobbies. He knows it. We know it. Sadly, there are several other hundreds YouTubers that do the same shit and people glorify and defend them as great players. The stupidity is unreal. That is facts, okay? And finally, for the last response, it says, it's sad how they let cheating become so normalized. That's facts, man. But all in all, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the news. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And honestly, out of the things that we covered from the entire Ghost of Eight versus Fool situation, the COD designer being a doctor disrespect, Sergeant Gaz versus Rick. This was an insane episode a couple days after the first initial one, which I do want to say thank you real quickly for all the love and support. But yeah, it's been your boy A Yo Limstar. I'll see you guys next time when there's more COD drama.